Happy Sabbath! How are you all? And Happy Thanksgiving! I hope you had a good time yesterday with families and friends and have delicious meals. And tonight I continue to pray to the Lord to be with each one of you, to provide you with continual blessings from the above. As I begin the Vesper, I'd like to give you a couple of verses from the Bible about Thanksgiving. Psalms 106 verse 1. Praise the Lord, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, His love endures forever. And then in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. You know, this uh, passages from King David and Paul, they encourage us to give thanks to the Lord at all time. And you know, the Bible is filled with such commands. And many people wonder why God wants us to give thanks or praises to him all the time. Is he a narcissist? Let's look at the reality of our relationship with God. Our prayers are usually concentrated on asking, right? Mm -hmm. Give me this or give me that. God really doesn't mind. In fact, he wants us to ask according to Matthew 7, 7. He loves us and understand why we are needy. He loves to hear our prayers. He likes us to talk to him. And I just think that he would be very touched when we give thanks to him because we actually notice and appreciate what he has done for us. Have you ever thoughtfully done something nice for someone and they didn't even notice? And then when you did something wrong, not only they noticed, they were quick to criticize. How did you feel? God welcomes our praise and thanksgiving because he wants us to notice that he loves us. Furthermore, being grateful is also good for our own well-being. Let me read to you what a parenting magazine said. This was an article about teaching children to have gratitude. Let me read. When kids have a working understanding of gratitude, it changes the perspective of the world. They can see the blessings around them instead of feeling entitled with a scarcity mindset. Scarcity mindset meaning obsessed with the lack of something. Concentrating on what they have instead of what they don't have fills the little souls with happiness. What it is saying is kids are happier if they notice blessings around them instead of constantly thinking and complaining of what they don't have. Do you think God, our heavenly parent, have the same vein of thought when he tells us, give thanks in all circumstances? We all know America is the richest country in the whole world, right? Americans have the biggest houses in the world. And they are not lacking of food because according to statistics, no other place on earth has cheaper food than America. And yet, they are not the happiest people on earth. In fact, the most recent finding on the global depression rates from the WHO indicates that Americans have the third highest rates of depression. Another article I read from U.S. News, it reported as of September 2022 that nearly 10% of Americans suffer from depression and that the mood disorder are increasing fastest among the teens and young adults. Can you imagine that? They are the most, they should have the most hopeful disposition, right? They are young. 
And then there's another study. Depression is extremely common in U.S. and has reached epidemic levels, said this lead researcher Renee Goodwin, a professor of epidemiology and biostatistic at the City University of New York's Graduate School of Public Health and Health Policy. I know there's no simple solution to the problem of depression. And it is more complex than I will ever know. However, many scientists and researchers have done some studies and realized that practicing gratitude is good for our well-being in many ways. It contributes toward happiness. They said having a thankful attitude will benefit us on a personal level and benefit us emotionally, benefit us socially, even benefit us in our career. And it definitely has health benefits, physical health and mental health. Well, these benefits are connected. One affects the other and they influence our happiness on all level. But how? Well, quite a few benefits on a personal level. A psychologist, his name is Martin Seligman, asked 411 people to write and personally deliver a letter of gratitude to a person from their life who deserves it. And you know what? This activity greatly decreased their happiness self-satisfaction and gratitude make them more optimistic for a longer period of time comparing to the control group. When we express gratitude, it can make us less self-centered. The researchers said promoting gratitude make people more likely to share even when it is at their own expense and even if the receiver wasn't someone they knew. When a person has gratitude, he or she is less likely to be materialistic, the researcher also said, and tend to be more satisfied with their lives and the material possessions that they already have. But on the other hand, those who are overly focusing on the value on material things has lower life satisfaction. Thankfulness also affects our emotion, becoming happier and even more resilient. While well, being resilient, meaning having greater capacity for dealing with difficulties in life. For example, a researcher conducted a study after the 9-11 attack and it showed that gratitude play a key role in building resilience among the survivors. And there are also social benefits when one has an attitude of gratitude. A grateful person is happier, which we already mentioned, and this individual is also more balanced, more confident because of his positive outlook. Whenever we start giving off this kind of positive vibes, it affects our surroundings. We all know that people who are satisfied and happy are simply fun to be around. And that is why people who are grateful and positive usually have a wider social network and more friends because they are more likable. People tend to perceive them as reliable and warm. It's like the law of attraction. Another research conducted in 2008 revealed that gratitude is connected to both lower levels of stress and depression and higher social support. You can see why, right? A person with a grateful disposition have more friends, therefore more social support. And as a result, stress level and depression tend to be less in that focus than those who complain frequently and are negative in their nature. 
And now the study. The study is for teens and kids. Those with a positive appreciatory outlook were able to find reasons to be happy and positive even when they were going through some difficult times in their life, like the parents suffering from severe illnesses. This just proves that gratitude works like a safeguard that balances our internal and external lives. And when one has that kind of positive energy, it even improves their working environment and ultimately their working performance. Gratitude makes them perform better at workplace. A study in 2015 revealed that gratitude is one of the most important factors that impact people's sense of meaning at work. Grateful people seem to be the ones who end up living their life's purpose Plus, they are happier at their workplace. Finally, ultimate being grateful affects our mental and physical health. It may seem unbelievable, but gratitude truly does improve our health, both mental and physical. The mechanism is quite simple. We mentioned expressing gratitude reduces stress and promotes positive emotion, right? and it changes our brains and our body chemistry. As a result, this protects our vital organ systems, especially those that are stress sensitive, such as the cardiovascular system. According to Emmons and McCullough's research, gratitude journaling helps people sleep better and good sleep affects our health. Well, we already mentioned that gratitude lower anxiety, depression, and stress symptoms. All those are also important for mental health. In fact, everything we spoke about so far, emotional benefits, relationship benefits, career satisfaction, these are all major mental health com components and they can all be influenced positively by practicing gratitude. Another study, that's a lot of study because it all proves that gratitude is beneficial. And this study is done in University of Kentucky discover that gratitude is an antidote to aggression. Participants who practice gratitude on a regular basis were more likely to be sensitive more understanding and empathetic. Gratitude also turned out to be important in lowering, lowering the post-traumatic stress disorder symptoms among the Vietnam War veterans. It seems like practicing gratitude truly brings nothing but good things in one's life. No wonder Paul said, give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Because we as Christians believe what? All things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. The Thanksgiving holiday has been around for hundreds of years. And I am so glad that someone had the wisdom to know it's important to have a day that people can stop thinking of their worries, their needs, and remembering what they have and be thankful for. Thanksgiving holiday is one of my favorite times of the year. And this is a time when families get together, connecting with those that we haven't seen for a while. And for a lot of people, their favorite is the plentiful, delicious food on the table. But seriously, have you thought of what are your true what are you truly thankful for this year? For me, I'm surely grateful that we are still living and doing well after enduring almost three years of fear and uncertainty due to the pandemic. I'm also grateful that God has provided with what we need and care for us 
when we needed him most. Most importantly, we are very fortunate that we were led to know Christ and can anticipate the greatest hope of life, eternal life. We do have a lot to be thankful for. Happy Sabbath and happy Thanksgiving.